Pierre Eugene Drew La Rochelle, French, Joe La L, the 3rd of January 1893 to the 15th of March 1945, was a French writer of novels, short stories, and political essays. He was born, lived, and died in Paris. Drew La Rochelle became a proponent of French fascism in the 1930s and was a well-known collaborationist during the German occupation. Topic: Early life. Drew was born into a middle-class family from Normandy, based in the 17th arrondissement of Paris. His father was a failed businessman and womanizer who married his mother for her dowry. Although a brilliant student, Pierre failed his final exam at the École Libre des Sciences Politiques. Wounded three times, his experience as a soldier during World War I had a deep influence on him and marked him for the rest of his life. In 1917, Drew married Colette Juramek, the sister of a Jewish friend. They divorced in 1921. Sympathetic to Dada and to the Surrealists and the Communists, and a close friend of Louis Aragon in the 1920s, he was also interested in the Royalist Action Française, but refused to adhere to any one of these political currents. He wrote, Measure de la France. Measure of France. In 1922, which gave him some small notoriety, and edited several novels. He later, beginning in the 1930s, embraced fascism and antisemitism. In Drew's political writings, he argued that the parliamentary system the government d'assemblée of the French Third Republic was responsible for what he saw as the «décadence» of France economic crisis, declining birth rates, etc. In «Le Jeune Européen» European Youth 1927 and «Geneva au Moscow» Geneva or Moscow 1928, Drew La Rochelle advocated a strong Europe and denounced the «décadent materialism» of democracy. He believed that a federal Europe could bolster a strong economic and political union isolated from the imperialist Russians and Americans. In 1939 he came to believe that only Nazi Germany could deliver such an autarky and promise. His pro-European views expressed in 1928 were soon followed by closer contacts with employers' organizations, among them Ernest Mercier's Redressement Francais, and then, at the end of the 1920s and the beginning of the 1930s, with some currents of the Radical Party. <laughs> Fascism and collaboration As late as 1931, in L'Europe contre les patries. Europe against the nations. Drew was writing as an anti Hitlerian, but by 1934, especially after the 6 February 1934 riots organized by far right leagues before the Palais Bourbon, and then a visit to Nazi Germany in September 1935, where he witnessed the Reichsparteitag rally in Nuremberg, he embraced Nazism as an antidote to the mediocrity of liberal democracy. After the 6 February 1934 riots, he contributed to the review La Lutte des Junes and reinvented himself as a fascist. The title of his October 1934 book Socialisme Fasciste Fascist Socialism, was representative of his politics at the time. In it, he described his discontent with Marxism as an answer to France's problems. He wrote that he found inspiration in Georges Sorel, Fernand Pelloutier, and the earlier French socialism of Saint-Simon, Charles Fourier, and Proudhon. Drew La Rochelle joined Jacques Doriot's fascist Parti Populaire Français in 1936, and became the editor of its review, L'Emancipation Nationale, until his break with the party beginning in 1939. In 1937, with Avec Doriot, he argued for a specifically French fascism. He continued writing his most famous novel, Giles, during this time. He supported collaborationism and the Nazis' occupation of northern France. During the occupation of Paris, Drew succeeded Jean Paulhan whom he saved twice from the hands of the Gestapo as director of the Nouvelle Revue Française and thus became a leading figure of French cultural collaboration with the Nazi occupiers, who he hoped would become the leader of a «fascist international». His friendship with the German ambassador in Paris, Otto Abbots, pre-dated the war. He was also a member of the Committee of the Group Collaboration. Beginning in 1943, however, he became disillusioned by the New Order, and turned to the study of Eastern spirituality. In a final, provocative act, he again embraced Jacques Doriot's PPF, simultaneously declaring in his secret diary his admiration for Stalinism. 
Upon the liberation of Paris in 1944, Drew had to go into hiding. Despite the protection of his friend André Malraux, and after a failed first attempt in July 1944, Drew committed suicide. Works The following list is not exhaustive. Interrogation 1917, Poems Etat Civil 1921. Measure de la France 1922, Essay L'homme couvert de femmes 1925, Novel Le jeune Europe 1927, Essay Genève au Moscow 1928, essay Hotel Acropolis Une femme à sa fenêtre 1929, novel L'Europe contre les patries 1931, essay Will o' the Wisp Le Fou Follet 1931. This short novel narrates the last days of a former heroin user who commits suicide. It was inspired by the death of Drew's friend, the surrealist poet Jacques Rigaud. Louis Mal adapted it for the screen in 1963 as the Fire Within. Joachim Trier adapted it as Oslo, August 31st. In 2011. Droll de Voyage, 1933, novel. The Comedy of Charleroi, La Comédie de Charleroi, 1934, is a collection of short stories in which Drew attempts to deal with his war trauma. Socialisme Fasciste, 1934, essay. Belukia, 1936, novel. Riva's Bourgeoisie 1937. In this novel, Drew tells the story of his parents' failed marriage. Avec Doriot 1937, political pamphlet Giles 1939 is Drew's major work. It is simultaneously an autobiographical novel and a bitter indictment of interwar France. Ne plus a tendre 1941, essay. Notes pour comprendre le siècle 1941, essay. Chronique politique. 1943, essay. The Man on Horseback. Lema Cheval. 1943, novel. Les Chiens de Paille. 1944, novel. Le Français d'Europe. 1944, essay. Histoires des 1963, posthumous, short stories. Memoirs de Dirk Raspe, 1966, posthumous, novel. Journal d'une homme trompe, 1978, posthumous, short stories. Journal de guerre, 1992, posthumous, war diary. Topic notes. Topic bibliography. Andreu, Pierre and Grover, Frederick, Drew La Rochelle, Paris, Hachette 1979. Carroll, David, French Literary Fascism, Princeton University Press 1998. Damber, Marc, ed., Drew La Rochelle Écrivain et Intellectuel, Paris, Presses de la Sorbonne Nouvelle 1995. Hervier, Julien, Der Individus contre la histoire, Pierre Drew La Rochelle et Ernst Junger, Paris, Klingsik 1978. Le Carme, Jacques, Drew La Rochelle au La Balle des Maudits, Paris, Presses Universitaires Françaises, 2001. Mouthner, Martin, Otto Abbots and his Paris Acolytes, French writers who flirted with fascism, 1930-1945. Sussex Academic Press, 2016, ISBN 978-1-84519-784-1.